Hi there, this is Mar Haddad. In uh, this uh, new video, I would like to make a lab to show you what is the best way to block uh, Facebook uh, from uh, the Microtech uh, router. So uh, I had a customer who requested for me that uh, he doesn't want that uh, his employees to go to Facebook and he has a Microtech router. So he asked me that if I can help, I made some uh, research and I found a very nice way to do it. Because most of the time you see people using the layer seven on the Microtech router to block Facebook. But layer seven, it is very intensive on the uh, Microtech router on the CPU because for each packet, the Microtech is looking for the layer seven. So all the layers is checking that and this will make your CPU to go very high. So that's uh, the reason why I decided to show a different way where we can block uh, the access to Facebook. So let's get started directly and see how we can do the configuration to block Facebook from the Microtech router OS. So this is uh, my router. This is actually my home router. I'm now uh, sitting at home. I'm not in the office. Uh, so this is my home router. And uh, from uh, my home router, I would like to do the configuration to block uh, Facebook. So um, at this moment, uh, the network that I have it into in the inside network is 10.0.0. something. That's uh, my network inside. So I want that anyone who is connected to the internet at home do not be able to go to Facebook. So uh, let's get started. So we go to IP firewall. Before we start the working, let me just show you so if we go to Facebook, you can see it's working. If we click on uh, forget password, it's working. Everything is working now on the browser. Very good. Let's go now to the router. What I'm going to do is just to go to IP firewall, filter rules. So you can do it on filter rules or you can do it on the mangle. Now we, I'm going to show you how you can do it from the filter rule. So I'm going to say here, anyone who is going to the internet. So forward means going to the internet from the network, which is 10.0.0.0 slash 24. So means any IP from my inside network going to the internet. And then over here, I have to say advanced and I will be using the content, not the layer seven. I'm going to use the content. And I have tested and have seen that if we uh, use those contents, dot facebook.com, dot fbcdn.net and dot facebook.net, then this would work on Facebook. So I will take this one, .facebook.com, I put it on the content. So again, any traffic going to the internet from my network and it's going to .facebook.com, then the action is to add, we're gonna add the destination address. So the IP of the Facebook servers, that's what we are going to add. And we put it inside an address list, we call it Facebook. So address list is nothing more then you classify the IPs. You just uh, put them in uh, one collection and in, uh, in, uh, let's say in one box. We call this, that box, we call it Facebook. And later we are going to apply a filter rule to block uh, that box, okay? Or access to that box. Now the timeout, I'm gonna leave it for four days. So 96 hours. So in brief, what we have done, any traffic from my network going to Facebook, so contents, this is, means it's going to Facebook, then action, add the IP of the destination, means the IP of the server of Facebook, add it inside an address list, call it uh, Facebook and leave it for four days. So I'm gonna say, uh, let's first put here a comment. I'm gonna call it this Facebook, just to differentiate, and then I'm gonna say apply. So this is the first one. Actually, I do have here uh, three, uh, content. So I will copy the second one. All I need to do is to go to this one. I make copy and all I need to do is just to change the content. And uh, let's uh, remove the comment. And that's it. So this is uh, first rule. This is second rule. And the third also the same. We take it. This is the content. I'm going to leave for you the content uh, on my description of this video. And then uh, copy uh, we go to here and we put it here and apply. So now anyone in my network trying to go to Facebook, then the IP of the Facebook server will be inside the address list called Facebook. And you may know that the Facebook, they have really a lot of servers all the world, a lot of servers. So that means you may first connect to one server and you may another time you enter to Facebook, connect to another server, but all will be collected and will be added inside the address list called Facebook. So if I go to the address list and I look to the Facebook, so I see someone at home now, 
is trying to go to Facebook. I hope not my wife. Otherwise, I will be in a big problem. Anyway, so someone has tried now to go to Facebook. It's now still working because I did not apply any filter route to stop it, but it's only collecting. So now if I just make enter here again to go to Facebook, you see another IP has picked up. So it's just picking up the IPs of the Facebook servers. Let's try to open again Facebook, see if we can get another IP as well from Facebook. Not really. I'm going to go to my phone because also my phone is connected to that network on the wireless. And I'm going to open my uh, my application of Facebook application. Yeah, here we go. You see, so also on my application, look how many servers I could get by just opening the application of Facebook on my phone. Very good. So what you can do now, if you like to do that, you can uh, keep that uh, rule open for like one day or two days. Let the router collect all those uh, IPs of Facebook because in that time, a lot of people are going to Facebook and the router will be collecting all the IPs of the Facebook and put them inside the destination address uh, list, which is called Facebook. Now, what you need to do now is just to go to filter rule and now you create a new rule and you say, Anything going to the internet from 10.0.0.0 slash 24. And he's going to one of the servers which are uh, inside the Facebook. So we go here to destination address Facebook. And the action is to drop. And now we say here, drop Facebook. And then... Okay, so I'll repeat any traffic going to the internet from my network and going to Facebook. So that means to the address list that we have created, the IPs of the uh, servers of uh, Facebook, then the action is to drop. And then I'll say here, okay. Excellent. So what do you think? Is it going to work or not? Here we go. It has started. I think my wife uh, has a big problem now and I will have a big problem afterward. <laughs> Anyway, so um, let's try. I will go to Facebook. So let's close everything. And then we try to go to facebook.com. Here we go. So look, it's not working. It's not even opening. And we can see here the bytes are being increased now. And Facebook is not opening. Um, if we also go to google.com, and I try to search to Facebook on Google. And I'll try to go to Facebook from Google. You see it's not going to Facebook. While if we go to YouTube.com, yeah, here we go. It is working, right? But Facebook, it's not. If we go to whatever, if you open and you make ping to a.a.a.a .a 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 just to see if the internet is working, look, the internet is working. But only Facebook is not opening. Now, if I go to my phone again, and I would like to see first the address list, if it's been added now, something more, not really. Uh, if I go to my phone, and I will open Facebook from my phone, so it's also loading, loading now. It shows me something, but what it shows for me is not updates. It shows me what was uh, saved in the cache on the phone, because if I just opened the phone a few minutes ago, or a few seconds ago, actually, on Facebook, and uh, it has cached uh, some uh, pictures or whatever, but it doesn't show me any update about what is happening uh, in this minute uh, on Facebook. So if I just make refresh, refresh, I'm seeing that I'm still on the same page. That means it also doesn't work on the... Uh, on the uh, phone application and look at the CPU here. Actually, this is uh, this uh, is not really a router. It's a switch uh, router, Micro uh, uh, CRS, a cloud uh, uh, router switch, and it has. I think it has only one CPU. Um, I can check that if you want. We can go to system uh, resources. So yeah, it has one CPU and look at the and then now a lot of people at home my wife my kids are using the internet and also the television and we are still on the 17 percent end so that that's really nice while if you um, uh, use uh, the layer 7 this can go much higher so this is all what I wanted to show we can see Facebook is that so this is uh, the whole uh, uh, explanation and the uh, lab that I wanted to show you today on uh, uh, this uh, video so this is the best way how you can block Facebook. 
Now, in case Facebook works for you, maybe when you watch the video and you see that Facebook works for you, so that means maybe Facebook, they have uh, changed something so uh, on the content. So that means we have also to adjust the content as well. Uh, so that's, uh, uh, for now it's working, but I cannot secure that it's going to work forever. All right. So if you like my way of teaching, please do not forget to put like on this video, subscribe to my channel and click on the bell so you are notified by my new videos when I put them on my YouTube channel. Thank you very much for the time spending watching my video and uh, till next time.